Hello doll lovers, it's Ruby Red's World of Dolls and welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that all is well, fantastic and fabulous your way. No, I haven't fell off the face of the earth. I'm still around. I'm enjoying my dolls. I'm, I'm doing a little sewing. I've revamped um, the storage, my main storage for my collectible um, dolls. I told you guys a while back that I was getting rid of the unit that I had them in for all these years because it wasn't working for me anymore and I've done that so now my dolls are basically packed up <laughs> and um, ready for me to find the new unit that I'm going to get. But I got my eyes on some stuff so as soon as I get myself straight I'll be, I'm will be i going to do that. So I've got a lot of things going on right now. Um, I have been buying... Um, I have bought some more of the mini fashion brands. You guys got a real thrill out of my opening with all the duplicates. Um, I ordered four more balls from Target.com. And believe it or not, all four balls were different. But I did get one purse that I already had. And then I also did some trading, um, some swaps on um, Instagram with two people. And I wish I had awaited because I knew that I was not done buying. But they wanted um, the pink purse here that I had. And, you know, it kind of is expensive because, you know, you spend $10 on the ball. Then you got to spend $5 to ship it to the person. So you're basically spending $15 for that purse. So I did do two swaps. And I probably won't do that, a while, do that again unless I am done purchasing and I'm not going to purchase any more balls because I've ordered a total of six more and I ended up with one of the ones that I ended up swapping with somebody so but you know it's all in fun and I'm enjoying it and <laughs> I'm gonna buy more so I bought a total of 12 balls so far and I'm still six short six I still need six more purses Six more purses, I do. And um, <laughs> and that's just where I'm at with that. But I, I, I'm having fun. Um, I did finally pick up this girl here, Barbie Extra number 13. Um, she is a fabulous doll. Um, I wanted this doll from the time she released. But she came out a little more expensive than any of the other ones. She was like $27.00 on walmart.com when she first released and then after a while the price dropped a little bit and it went back to the normal price of the $24.88 but I was still waiting to see if she would go on sale especially during the Christmas holidays but she didn't once I saw her in person in my local Walmart I wanted her even more but I didn't purchase her I wanted to wait because all of my Barbie extra dolls went on sale and most I started off buying them at regular price but then I realized they would drop in price not this girl not sure what's going on with this diva but she still stands strong at the regular price but I will say this good things come to those who wait I ended up getting this doll and a duplicate of her for less than $15 not gonna share my little blessing <laughs> because that's kind of like my little blessing but I ended up getting um, two of this doll for less than 15 bucks so it ended up working out for me so the whole transaction was kind of messed up a little bit and then it ended up working out for me so here she is and I ordered her from target.com I didn't order her from Walmart and I'll just tell you this target is a great place for great customer service I love targets customer service and we're gonna move on all right so this is um, Barbie extra number 13 she's a curvy girl so she already has points for that in my collection loving her attire um, loving her hairstyle her artwork is fabulous her theme is basketball it seems and, I mean, I just love everything about her. Her face mold is so unique. I mean, like I said, once I saw her in person, I had to have her. Her artwork is gorgeous. I mean, the artwork on these dolls is fabulous. And then here is the back of her packaging. And, again, fabulous artwork. She comes with the 15 um, styling pieces. And then, of course, the pet. And I guess the pet is included in the pieces. 
and I'm really excited about getting her unboxed. Um, so and getting her in this collection of mine. The Barbie Extra dolls have been some of the most fun dolls that I have collected in a while in my collection, and I just enjoy them. And I want to say she's the last one other than the exclusive girl. So, and then they've got the little bitty ones. Now, my local Walmart does have the little bitty ones in stock, but I'm not really interested in them. Um, and plus, I don't want to start a new collection. And plus, they're $15 a piece. Now, if I go in there and they're on clearance, of course, I'm going to grab them. But if they don't go on clearance, they will never get to be in my collection unless somebody gives them to me. Because, you know, I'm not that, that interested to buy them. But they are adorable. They are cute. Everything about them is adorable. But I'm going to stay away from them right now. And I'm going to stick with the big girls. So... I'm going to get this diva out of the box so that we can look at her up close and in detail because I have waited long enough. All right, Barbie Extra 13 is free from the box and I am really digging this doll. I really like her style. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so let's start with her jacket. Um, it's like a, a oversized plaid jacket. Um, it has two functioning pockets here in the front and it's it's really cool. It's really cool. I, I, I like it. It's nice. Um, the finishing in the inside looks okay. You know, stitching could have been a little bit better, but here we are. <laughs> so that's her jacket. Then she also comes with these cool sunglasses that she's wearing with the flames in them. So they're pretty cool. They are plastic, of course. And this is what they look like up close. All right, and then she's wearing these um, plastic hoop earrings, and for some reason, I don't know, I feel like it's where they punched the hole. Sometimes they don't do the holes very well, and you, you have an issue with your earring. And then she has on this, let's talk about the jewelry. Well, let's talk about her hair. All right, so her hair is, she has big hair. And it's supposed to have crinkles. It's dark brown with these pink highlights. And it's really dry. So her hair does have a lot of dryness to it. Um, mine is kind of uneven. You know, the cut isn't real good. You know, I got to work on that a little bit. And I even it up with the scissors. But I, I kind of know what they were going for for the hairstyle. So I guess that's the reason why they chose the, chose the fibers that they chose. But I'm going to work on this hair and get this hair right. But she, but I still like it. I like the style. But like I said, I got a lot of loose hair there. But that's normal for a new doll to have shedding on the hair. And she's very pretty. Yeah, the earrings are irritating me a lot. But you know, if I mess with it a little bit, I can get it right. Alright, so then let's talk about the neck accessories so she comes with this big plastic and i'm probably not going to let her wear this because all right i'm trying to get it off and then the stand is coming off i'm trying to get this all right so this is this is the big heavy supposed to be the big heavy um gold chain I'm assuming and it's plastic and it doesn't sit well on her neck for me you know I don't know maybe once I get her right I can do that but that's what that looks like then she also comes with this pink choker and then she has the chain with the star charm hanging from it so those are her neck accessories then she comes with this scrunchy um, hot pink bracelet and then she comes with this um, clear um, pink watch as well here on her arm. So you guys can see that. She comes with this clear watch. Then she comes with this basketball purse. And it's really cute. It has um, a Let's Play embroidered on the front and the back. And then it has um, a faux zipper there, zipper detail there on it. So it it has the basketball purse has more detail than I expected it to have. And I'm really liking her little ensemble. I, I don't think a lot of people liked it, but I do. The Malibu 59, and then you got the 
the cut here the fringe cut I guess I like the jersey I think it's cute it velcros in the back and then she wears a pair of a black um, pull-up elastic like biker shorts and they paired her back with these tan Timberland style boots and you know the articulation that these Barbie extra dolls all have they have articulation at the head the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the hip, and the knee. No ankle articulation. And then her little pet comes with this little donut. This little um, inflatable donut there. You can see the little plug there. For That's a little detail that I'm surprised that they gave. And this is what it looks like on this side. And then here's the little pet. Um... You know, you guys know how I feel about the pets. This is a little pet. It doesn't stand. It does come with these oversized sunglasses. And, of course, mine, the little um, pegs that are supposed to be on the arms to stay on the doll, um, the pets, I guess it's a dog's um, head, don't work. So they kind of fall off. And, you know, that's how that goes. So that's the pet. So those are all of her accessories and everything she comes with. I was very excited to get her. I'm not disappointed in her at all. Let me give you guys an up-close look. This is her with her sunglasses on. And then this is her without the sunglasses. She has a very pretty face. Um, I like the thick eyebrows. Um, mine looks to have a little wonky eye she really does she looks like she has wonky eye but it, it's no big deal to me um she's still pretty she has light brown eyes um i like the lip color and i just like this face sculpt i think she's a very very pretty doll and again she's a curvy girl so curvy girl curvy girl yes curvy girl all right so Barbie Extra number 13 on a scale from 1 to 10. I guess I'll give her a 7. And that's because of her hair. Because of the hair. Um, I got to do some work on her hair. I don't like to buy a brand new doll and have to do that kind of work on the hair. Her hair is going to need some work. I'm going to have to trim it and try to tame it. So those are two tasks that I got, but nothing that I can't handle. So I, nothing I can't handle. And again, I got her for a great price, so I can't complain, but I'm glad to have her in my collection. Again, I love that face mold. I think she's adorable and um, she's welcome to my doll collection, Ruby Red's World of Dolls. Well, guys, that concludes this review of Barbie Extra number 13. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you guys are continuing to enjoy and play and craft and do whatever it is in your world that you need to do to enjoy your dolls. <laughs> guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram. I am Ruby Red's World of Dolls there. Continue being awesome, fantastic, and fabulous, and I will see you awesome, amazing people in my next video.